Hi, my name's Russell Holden and welcome to the Veteran Garage. On our YouTube page you can find lots of videos of our early cars. And this car here is the oldest, the youngest car we own. It's a 1937 Chev. And uh, as I've said to many of you before, the older I get, the older the cars will get. But I've owned a 37 Chev every day of my life since I was 19 years old. And I've owned a 37 Chev convertible every day since I was 21. At one stage we owned 20 37, 38 Chevs. And this car here is one of the rarest of them. And it's rare for a number of reasons. And if you go back to 1934 in America, that was the very last touring car, or as the Americans call it, Phaeton, four-door convertible sold by General Motors Chevrolet. Here in Australia, Holton continued with our former client, they continued to make the touring car, but they were declining in popularity. So in 34 they made quite a few, they declined in 35, they declined in 36, they got very few on the ground in 37, and by 1938 that was the last of the touring car. So this is one of about 200 that Holden made. It's one of less than a half a dozen survivors. We've owned this car for over 25 years. Um, it's a fantastic car. It took a lot of restoration. It spent years in a creek bed in Dalby in outback Queensland before we got hold of it. And uh, the floors were rusty in it. All the uh, brake drums were chock-a-block full of mud having gone through a number of floods in that creek bed. So it took a lot of work to get the car to this stage. But it is an extremely rare car. It was certainly worth salvaging. And today it's a car that we would get in and we would drive from Sydney to Melbourne without thinking twice. So I've managed to place a lot of accessories onto this car. It's a standard car, meaning that it's got an I-beam front end as opposed to a master car with a knee action front end or what they would call in America master and master deluxe this is a standard car but it has many many accessories some of which that weren't even available in America so it has the town and country horns it has the heater it has the fog lights it has the overriders on the bumper bar and it also has probably the rarest accessory for a 37 38 chef it has a Columbia two-speed diff and those were made only for export passenger cars and there were 15 sent to Australia. I managed to track one of those down. We've restored it, we've installed it in the car and that's one of the reasons why it is such a cracker of a driver car because it will sit on the freeway at 60 to 70 mile an hour. It's not revving the socks off the motor and it just travels down the road beautifully. It's got absolutely fabulous road manners. It sits on the road very nicely and it brakes very, very well with the four wheel hydraulic brakes. We've also done a few other bits and pieces that uh, make it go very, very well. Again, rare accessories. Um, under the bonnet here, I have an Edmunds two uh, carby manifold. I picked that up at Hershey nearly 20 years ago now. and. Uh, that helps this car breathe. The motor has been totally balanced. Uh, the motor runs absolutely beautifully. So you can see here the badging here, Holden, body standard, body number 41. This is uh, the color and, and upholstery tag. It was Washington blue, which is exactly what this color is. And it had gray upholstery. So uh, it's, it's an absolute cracker of a car. It's extremely rare and um, we're very proud to be the owners of it. 